a white Southern civil rights activist who, despite being attacked by the KKK, was honored today for her bravery and her unwavering belief in equality. Joan Mulholland and her story captured the spotlight in a Black History Month program, and our Makia Turner was at the presentation. She joins us now with more. Yes, um, well, today Prince George's Parks and Planning kicked off an interactive program this morning. From sing-alongs to moments of silence, the residents joined county officials in honoring the past. The highlight of today's program featured the life story of an activist who played a big role in the civil rights movement. Joan Muholland, a white civil rights activist, was this morning's honoree. Residents and officials paid homage to her for taking a stand in the early 60s to right what she called a wrong justice system. Certainly by the time I was a teenager, I'd seen enough of the, of the segregation in the South that I, I knew this was wrong. It was, we were hypocrites. We were not doing what we said in church. At the age of 19, the Arlington native left home to attend Duke University, where she spent much of her time traveling to nearby sit-ins to join forces with blacks at the lunch counter. Tim McIntosh was one of them. As you can imagine, it was a very, very frightening experience. Our bodies were physically on the line and exposed. We didn't know what was in store for us, whether or not we were going to be spat upon, slapped, stabbed, or martyred for the cause. Muhalin later transferred to Mississippi's Tougaloo College, where fighting for equality became dangerous. She was attacked by mobs and later thrown into the notorious Parchman Penitentiary, where she spent two months on death row. I wanted to get things done and move things forward and show that she was in solidarity with people. It was not a game for her. That made her dangerous. Giving up hope would be the last thing you do. And fear, you'd get nervous, you'd be cautious. But real fear is counterproductive. It, it makes it so you can't act. Uh, it paralyzes you. So no, you've got to go on faith. Today's audience got a 30-minute preview of her story, which was brought to life in a documentary by her son. Take a look at the trailer. It's called An Ordinary Hero. the awards, standing ovation, and multiple snapshots, Mulholland says she hopes people left with this one message in mind. I hope they'll realize that they too can do something and make a difference. And you can catch the full version of Joan Mulholland's story at the end of this month when it will be released on Amazon. You can catch part of her story also at anordinaryhero.com.